Oh, yeah! You find a Slime Knight! Press the Y button to attack, and the B button to throw it off. So when you have the Slime Knight on your head, you can use the Y button to attack! It's really f cool! You can use this attack to destroy the cobwebs that are in your way. Ooh, it's a Dracula slime! Count Dragula! Ha 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 ha! If you get caught in the spider's web, just pull down the control pad! You'll spring your way out of it easy as pie! Ah ah ah! Thank you, Count Von Blood Count. We can just cut these guys to pieces with the Slime Knight, it's really cool. If you use the Slime Knight sword too many times, it will eventually fall asleep for a short period of time. But still, that's a nice way to make some gold. And also, he dropped a question mark bag, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's throw this stuff down. Oh, I've never seen the Dracula Slime's eyes open that wide before. Alright, Dracula Slime, you're going back. Slime Knight, you're going back. Uh, question mark bag, you're going back. More money from the chests. The blob slipped through my fingers this time. But I can drool over thinking their blood, uh, over sucking their blood when I see them again. Ah, ah, ah. We get, ooh, a BS1 cruise recipe. Nice. Also, there's a tiny little hole here. We can't carry our stuff with us, but we can walk through it. Tank battle. It's Dan Fango. Sizzling sausages. You came all this way. You think you're pretty good, yes. But this is where your luck ends. You're no match for my tank, sucker. We'll see. Your beloved Schliemann tank stays. Are number now squirt. It's the Fortnite. Knock too weak. Ho ho ho, Fortnite, I like it. Four Drackies in that tank. We'll see how this goes. Should go pretty easy. You ain't gonna get the better of me, slime ball. We'll see about that. Hooey's got the idea. I'm gonna shoot myself out of the tank right away. Hopefully I'll infiltrate their tank and can just keep them at bay. Nope! Iron Shield is going to knock me down. You ain't got a chance against my Iron Shield. And yes, if you bring Slime Knights into your tank, because they count as items slash ammo, you can use this sword to destroy these doors really quickly, and to destroy their engine really quickly as well. Also, if you throw an enemy, as when you're in the middle of an Elastoblast, that you will just send them rocketing forward. Pun intended, of course. Alright, mates. It's up to you. You've got to shoot all the ammo out. I threw the guy so far, he would ricochet off the wall down there and flew back into my hands. Or lack of hands. Maybe it's time to step up the pace. No, I don't think so. You're doing a great job. Man, you've got a lot of iron balls. One computer! I destroy one computer and their entire conveyor belt gets blown up. Hmm, that is probably not good.
That was fun. Huh? I don't like the look of this. Yeah, this strategy kind of breaks the tank battles. So, this is kind of boring, but oh well. <laughs> and the nice thing about the Fortnite, really tiny engine room. Goodbye, Fortnite. <laughs> Or I guess I should say that's the bad thing about the Fortnite. Because that's a pretty big flaw. We win! And we get an Iron Shield! Yeah! Thank you. Oh, it's another Dracula Slime! Diablob! So it was you who rescued me! Most unusual rocket! You have the makings of a great hero for Thor! But don't overdo things! You're surprisingly strong for a slime. Yeah, I am. So apparently, Mount Crack Road is home to the Dracula slimes. Thank you, Rocket. It was nice of you to set me free. Make sure you rest sometimes. Come back to Boinberg every now and then. Oh, Dracula, I love you, Dracula. It's a good night, but whatever. Thank you for the coins. Give me those back. Also, if you hit a Slime Knight too many times, he'll eventually die, which is interesting. Gotta bring that Slime Knight back. They're really good. Oh, hi, Mr. Mimic! Oh, wow. The Mimic's eyes when it get run over. It, that's kind of terrifying, actually. Oh, I didn't even see you here. It's Merc! Hey, everything's going okay? Crackpot's a bit further in. Hurry! I only have four slimes to go on this level. Holy cow. And some of the slimes you can't even get on your first visit to the world. Hey, enjoying running about, about a there, out there alone? I run everywhere. It's great after being shut up for so long. Running rules. I'm glad you like it, Merc. Thanks for the boomerang. Uh-oh, I think I gave up my... Oops, I need to get rid of that cobweb. Thank goodness this guy responds. Alright. More of those crystals that we can't break. This is a new enemy! This is a living statue! Like the Wordles, you can't do anything if you're a Blast unless it's fully charged up. However, unlike the Wordles, one fully charged Blast will destroy them. So the only way to get them back to town is to throw Chimera Wings at them. That is quite literally the only way. It's good stuff. You want to bring back as much stuff as you can. Got some rapids here. Mm. 
Aha, uh -huh, thought there'd be someone over here. It's Lady Polly. The damp air here is terrible for my skin. It's time I took my leave. I'm on it. Oh, really? Interesting. I don't mean to beat you up, Lady Polly. I really don't. Oh dear, my skin's in a terrible state after being stuck in that confounded chest. I need a lawn soak and a nice hot bath to get me back to my usual lovely self. Oh, I mustn't forget to say thank you. I'm so glad you saved me, little prince. Well, it was my pleasure. Heavy man? Oh man, dude, it's like totally an iron ball. Alright. Last room here? Last room before the boss. That's right. We got free living statues in here and free chimera wings to deal with them. Once you bring them all back, the way is open. But first, clear that last shortcut out, and let's step inside. Full HP. Second boss of the game. <laughs> so you found Crackpot, but he's mine, all mine! You're the Flute Warrior, aren't you? Well, you're too late. I'm one of the Plob's big free. They call me Potbelly. I use this pot to make food and silence the gurglings of my belly. No one will ever take it away from me. This guy's basically evil Winnie the Pooh. Like, exactly. So this guy's not affected by your Elasto Blasts. Basically, you wait for him to make stuff, and depending on what he makes, you do different things. So for Fire Water, he usually just damages himself. For Banana Peels, he will throw these around, and if we can Elasto Blast him into his Banana Peels, he takes a little bit of damage. And then he can throw Rock Bombs. If we can pick them up, we can throw them back at him. And potentially damage him twice with the same Rock Bomb. So this is a much more interesting fight than Bow Beater. And then... Chimera Wings. Yeah, if we throw a Chimera Wing at him, instead of bringing him back to town, it'll just bring him up to the ceiling, hit his, he hit his head on the ceiling, and then drop him to the ground, dealing a little bit of damage. For a quick fight, you want him to throw Rock Bombs a lot, and not Chimera Wings or Banana Peels. Seriously, wow, she gets stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> that makes the most humorous expression. But this guy's literally evil Winnie the Pooh. He he kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh without the shirt, and he's a bit more um, evil-looking than Winnie the Pooh. But his his whole evil motive is he, I like Crackpot because it makes my tummy not rumble anymore, essentially. He can also throw medicinal herbs for you, which heal your HP. I still adore this music, though. Oh, uh, push him into the fire. That was my bad. Stop giving Chimera wings. Those take forever. Such great music, though. I love this song so much. Alright, that's enough. I wouldn't have lost if the gurglings hadn't put me off. Bubble, 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 bubble. Bubble, bubble. Take me back. Bubble, bubble. Kindly see that I'm returned to town. I've something rather exciting to show you back in town. It's called alchemy. And wow, Pop Ellie gave us a lot of money. Pick up Crackpot. 
who does not count as a slime. And let's go back to town. Well, we saved 16 slimes today. That's pretty awesome. We literally could not have saved more. And I collected a lot of stuff. One of almost everything in the entire map. Oh yes, so occasionally enemies drop these bags upon their defeat. These will contain one of a few items that they can drop. So first one, Boomerang. I believe that was dropped by an Imp. Chimeroin, I believe that was dropped by a Plotty Punk. And then Girder, I believe, was also dropped by an Imp. And there was one enemy we did not see on that level. And that was the randomly spawning enemy that I mistakenly left behind in the Tomb of Tutenschlein. We will find them eventually, no worries. Back in town for another beautiful day in Boinberg. Oh, it's Flanpa! Good morning, Rocket. Did you sleep well? Come with me, Yannin. I've got something to show you. The Great Crackpot is in this wagon. Let's go in, shall we? Come on, follow me, Rocket. Put two items into the Great Crackpot, and he'll combine them into a single new one. It's what we call alchemy, you know? Come along, my boy. Don't be shy now. Hurry up and pop something in. You'll be needing some recipes before you can do any alchemy, mind. Here, lad, here's one for me. A present for you. You receive a recipe for iron shields. You also receive the ingredients for an iron shield. So, lad, now you've got yourself a recipe, why don't you try some alchemy, eh? Select your recipe from the list. You can make something useful for your tank, perhaps, hmm? So this is where the recipes come into handy. We can use them to make alchemy. So we can make iron shields, we can make shurikens, steel broadswords, iron balls. We have two different recipes for iron arrows. One requires catnip and slime knights. The other requires wooden arrows and obelisks. We have BS1 cruise recipes. Those are pretty decent. And that's it for now. I'm just going to start by making one iron ball because I need an iron ball. And an iron ball is... Wait, never mind. I have a... I'm stupid. We, I have iron balls. I got quite a few in the mail. Nothing else I want to make now, because you might get alchemy recipes later that are better than that. Everything you make in Crackpot is safely stored in, with your swag, so don't worry. Wow, Flanpot, you're using words like swag. I... that is really cool. Hello, Slime Mechanic. Alright, well, we can do muscly HP up now. Because we got the cash to do so. From our cash money gold mine. And it increases by 40! Yeah. Thank you, Slime Mechanic. Alright, Dukdor Sid. We're gonna remove everything and start from scratch. Alright, two Oracle comes, definitely. We'll put in the shield. And that, and free swords. The Shuriken deals 20 damage and is decently fast. We'll put in a Slime Knight for Sabotage later. Two BS1 Cruises. We'll put in our free Iron Balls and our free Holy Waters. Five Oaken Clubs, yes please. We'll do an Iron Arrow, they're fast and decently powerful. Here's the thing, Thousand Weights deal a, a bunch of damage, they're pretty slow though. But what the heck, we'll put those in. So we got some slow ammo now, but it's all a lot more powerful, and we don't have anything that breaks easily, like rock bombs or obelisks. Alright. Ba bam We moved the 50 slime to an iron ball! Now you can get into the Goonin spy hole. It's in the Pals Gardens, an underground base built right into the bedrock. We have 50 slimes! We are now halfway through the game in terms of rescuing slimes. That's actually kind of amazes me. Palace is still pretty empty, as usual. Yep, 
Nobody knew in the kitchen. So the goon in spy hole is this one. We can't do anything in here though. Not yet. That'll be more important later on in the game though. So this general store is still blocked off, but that's okay. We couldn't do anything in there anyways. Now there are guys in this part of town. Magmax! You stick everything- Wait, what voice did I give this guy? You stick everything you find in your head and send it on home. Members of the plot are fair game too. Just keep them coming. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks, Magmax. You're quite strong for a regular time. Do you want to be my servant? What? You're too busy? Ah, ah, ah. I was only joking anyway. Times belong to youngsters like you nowadays. You'll all need to pull together and make sure this country stays on its feet. Anyone in this house? Oh yeah. I tried really hard to write a good letter. I'll be so happy if you read it. I did. I didn't know Dummy was staying with, um, Diablob. Do you find me thin -ther, thin -ther at all? Sorry if you do, I support you really. Psst, I'm down here. I'm a bit jealous of you. You're just so big and strong. I didn't know Lady Polly owned this house. What a delight it is to see you, Rocket. It's lovely weather for it, too. Too much sunshine's no good for the skin, mind. It's a Wordle. Whoa! Water here is so pure and clean, just like you slimes. Thank you, Mr. Wordle. <clears throat> um, that's not good. Shall we play a game together? You don't want to! Oh, that's a shame. I want to talk to hit this... I want to talk to the slime. Merc, you can send members of the plot back to town. Just lay them on a cart. It'll be worth it, I'm sure. Call it female into... Merc is a female? Whoops. Maybe smaller than your average slime, but I've got plenty of spirit. So don't treat me like a child. Yay! The plenty of are gonna be crying in the chapel when you're done with them, uh-huh. Uh, okay. So you say... Hi, what do you think of this canvas I made? I can sell it to you for 500 gold coins. It's a bargain, don't you think? So some of the slimes in town are going to try to sell you canvases? Yeah, why not? You receive a new canvas, so you can put that up on display over in the castle. Now you can really make a masterpiece, but I like his royal wobblinesses. Uh, one. Oh, it's my good friend Rocket. I feel much better now that I've seen you. This is the museum, you know. What do people do here? I'm not sure. I've been able to open the museum again thanks to you, Rocket. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Would you like me to tell you a little bit about how the museum works? Yes. Here at the museum, we collect and display monster statues. We can build a monster statue when we have 30 of that monster here in town. So I try to collect as many as you can. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy your visit to the museum. So yeah, you get monster statues. This is why you want to get 30 of each monster in the town. Because if you do that, these monster statues appear. However, that's not the main reason. The main reason why you collect them is once you get the monster statue, these monsters will appear next to them, and if you talk to them... You guys built a statue of a platy punk? Boy, you must really love us, huh? I ain't the kind of guy who don't pay his dues. I'm gonna help you out with them cannons. The Platy Punk has offered to be one of your crew members in the Schwiemann tank. I always wanted to try out the Schwiemann shooters. Let me know when you need me. That is why. Get 30 of a type of monster in your town, and that monster will help fight in your tank. Meow, I'd like to join your crew to thank you for such a purdy statue. If you want to set the cat among the Platio side, just meow. Yes, please. What an excellent statue of me. Maybe I could join your crew. The Draki has offered to be one of your crew members. I always take... Uh, ready for action. Call me up soon. 
These guys are generally better than your slime companions. Guess what, man? I dig this statue, and I would dig fighting on your crew. And we get the mischievous mole. Nice. I swear on my shovel that I'm gonna move to the, your groove rocket. Thanks, man. I hop I can pay you back for this statue. I get a real kick out of it. The Bunnicorn has offered to be one of your crew members. I'm ready to hop on board the Schleeman tank anytime. Just tell me when. Now, regrettably, we don't have any other guys yet in town. Just those first five, but that's fine. Not all of the monsters are great in your tank, but some of them are really good. Plus, it's just cool to get a bunch of guys in your tank. So, now we can set our crew members, because sorry, Huli, you have been outdated. I'll keep Blubba. I'm removing them, too. Alright. So we have them, so now we have the Potty Punk who can fire like crazy, which is basically he'll just fire out of any of the cannons he wants to, and then infiltrate and sabotage. I'll just keep on rolling in that ammo, boss. Jail Cat, infiltrate and sabotage and fire like crazy. I can jump over closed doors and get into the enemy tank. A perfect tactic. So the Jail Cat's pretty good. The Jail Cat is reasonably fast, can fire the, through the cannons pretty quickly, and when it's set to infiltrate and sabotage, they can instantly hop over the enemy's gate. Pretty nice. Draki can use the lower cannon and the upper cannon, much like Swatsy. He's not as fast as Swatsy is, though. The mischievous mole can use the upper cannon or bring you ammo. I'm a lean, mean fighting machine. You're gonna dig all the ammo I fetch you. Bringing him ammo basically means he'll pick up ammo and throw it into your hands. Not great, because if you already have free fiends of ammo in your hands, he's still gonna throw it at you, and that damages you. Kind of stupid. Shoot high, shoot low. I follow whatever orders you give me. I'm the Bunnicorn, who's just like Huey, but a bit better, because he does his job better. I'll hop to and attack the enemy in their tank with Ultra Pointy Horn. I'll put Bunnicorn in, and I'm going to put Jail Cat in. His... Actually, no, not Bunnicorn. I'm going to keep Swatsy in. They can work together, and I can just implement the distract everybody else when I'm in the tank. Alright, move out, men, and Jail Cat. So that'll be cool for next time. And my voice is about to go. Why is it the Rocket Slime videos always make my voice go? I do not know. Oh, hang on. Two people in here. See that tree there? La la! It's called Yudrasiel. Praise the goddess. The goddess is watching over you and keeping you safe. Thank you. I do not know why Rocket Slime takes a toll on my voice. I think it's because I give every slime a unique voice. And some of them are really weird. Like, ah, hey, Rocket. How's it going? But... My voice is just about shot, so that's going to do it for this episode. We've got so many people singing for us now. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll have to... We'll figure out something to do, because we've been to all the worlds and explored all of them as much as we can. So something's going to happen. We'll get a new world. Hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.